guys. Maeve is back. We got this William Shakespeare question, Maeve. Okay, I'm going to read them again. First, which sub, which Shakespeare play has the subtitle, What You Will? Is A, The Comedy of Errors, B, As You Like It, C, Twelve Night, or D, Othello? That's the first one. And the second one, Proceed, Silenus, To Procure My Fall, is the opening line in which Shakespeare play? A, Romeo and Juliet, B, The Merchant of Venice, C, The Comedy of Errors, or D, all's well that ends well. Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, which part you want to answer first, Maeve? I'll go first. All right, the first one. Which Shakespeare play has the subtitle, What You Will? Is A, The Comedy of Errors, B, As You Like It, C, Twelfth Night, or D, Othello? I would say Twelfth Night. Where's the answer? Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night is right. And for Tic Tac Doe, $13,000, proceed, Solonis, to procure my falls, the opening line in which Shakespeare play. Is it A, Romeo and Juliet? Is it Romeo and Juliet? B, The Merchant of Venice? C, The Comedy of Errors? Or D, all's well that ends well. And I forgot to start the timer. Go ahead. Alright. Is that all in that all's well that ends well? You going with all's well that ends well? Yes. That's incorrect. Oh. Answer is the comedy of errors. The oh. comedy of errors. We still at ten thousand dollars. We shuffle. Oh. <laughs> Brandon. It's time, let's do Star Wars for the block. First time in this category. Here we go, Star Wars. Two-part question, here it is. First, how many Star Wars movies were released in the 1990s? Is it A2, B1, C4, or D3? That's the first one. And the second one, published in 2004, Dark Rendezvous, is a novel about which Star Wars character? Is it A, Yoda, B, Kit Fitzo, C, Quay Gonjan, or D, Mace Windu? Here's your time to think about both of them, Brandon. All right, Brandon, which part do you answer first? Uh, first part, please. How many Star Wars movies were released in the 1990s? A2, B1, C4, or D3? Hmm. Go ahead and guess um, two. Two is wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. It has to be one. It, it is one. You're right. Star Wars Episode One in the 1990s, and the other one, published in 2004, Dark Rendezvous, is a novel about which Star Wars character? The answer is Yoda. Yoda. We still sitting at ten thousand dollars. We shuffle. Maeve. Uh, you know, okay. Two part question again. You know the deal. I'm not even repeat it again. Here it is. I'm bringing out questions. Here it is. First, Cathedral Caverns, a 2.08 mile cave, is home to Goliath, a 45 foot long stalagmite. In which state are they located? Is it A, Alabama, B, Florida, C, Montana, or D, Utah? That's the first one. And the second one, located in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico, where is the largest desert in North America? Is it A, the Sonoran Desert, B, the Chihuahuan Desert, C, the Great Basin Desert, or D, the Mojave Desert? Here's your time to think about both of them. Uh, <laughs> 
Which part you want to answer first, Maeve? Second. Second part. Here it is. Located in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico, what is the largest desert in North America? A. The Sonoran Desert. B. The Chihuahuan, the Chihuahuan Desert. C. The Great Basin Desert. Or D. The Mojave Desert. I would say the Mojave Desert. That is wrong again. Oh. Answer is the Chihuahuan Desert. And the other oh. one... Cathedral Caverns, a 2.08 mile cave, is home to Goliath, a 45 foot long stalagmite. In which state are they located? Is Alabama. We still playing with the ten thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. Brandon. And U.S. Geography to block this time. Please get these this center box right, y'all. Here it is. First one, here it is. What is the northernmost point in all of the U.S. territory? Is it A, Point Barrow, Alaska? B, Fairbanks, Alaska? C, Barrow, Alaska? Or D, Sumas, Washington? That's the first one. And the second one, which of these is not a great lake? Is it A, Lake Super? B, Lake Erie? Or C, Lake Iran. Here's your time to think about both of them. Which part you answer want to answer first, Brandon? Right, the first part, please. What is the northern point where's the northernmost point in all of the US territory? Is it A, Point Barrow, Alaska? B. Fairbanks, Alaska, C. Barrow, Alaska, or D. Sumas, Washington? I'm going to go with a guess and say Fairbanks, Alaska. Let's shuffle up that board again. The answer is A. Point Barrow, Alaska. Uh, and the other one, which of these is not a great lake, is Lake Super. Lake Super. Okay. Let's shuffle up the board. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Maeve. Again, get this question right. It'll be tic-tac-toe, $13,000, and you'll be the new champion. If you miss it, we're going to go at it again. Here it is. First, how many languages are we told the humanoid robot character C-3PO speaks? Is it A, over 22 million, B, 17,001, C, 7, or D, over 6 million? That's the first one. And the second one, Ian McDiarmid played which character in the Star Wars series? A, Anakin Skywalker, B, Jar Jar Binks, C, da Darth Maul, or D, Darth Sidious? Here's your time to think about both of them. Which part you want to answer first, um, um, Maeve? How many languages are we told the humanoid robot character C-3PO speaks? Is it A, over 22 million, B, 17,001, C, 7, or D, over 6 million? Well, I don't watch much Star Wars, but I'm going to take it to say over 6 million. You said over 6 million? Yes. That is right. And for Tic Tac Doe and $13,000, Ian McDermott plays which character in the Star Wars series? Is it A, Anakin Skywalker, B, Jar Jar Binks, C, Darth Maul, or D, Darth Sidious? Yes, I would say Anakin Skywalker. Let's shuffle up that board again. The answer is D, 
Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to say nothing. Where to, Brandon? Oh man. I'm going to have a try with Star Wars again. Alright, here we go. Two part question. I'm going to run out of questions. Here we go. First, in which Star Wars film do we see Luke Skywalker born? Is it A, Revenge of the Sith, B, A New Hope, C, Return of the Jedi, or D, Attack of the Clones? That's the first one. And the second one, which Star Wars movie did Lando Carician first appear in? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, which part do you want to answer first, Brandon? Uh, the first part, please. In which Star Wars film do we see Luke Skywalker born? Is it A, Revenge of the Sith, B, A New Hope, C, Return of the Jedi, or D, Attack of the Clown? Say Return of the Jedi. Let's shuffle the categories again. It's Revenge of the Sith. It's Revenge of the Sith, yes. And the other one, which Star Wars movie did Lando Carician first appear in? Empire Strikes Back. Let's shuffle it up. All right, it's back to you, Maeve. US geography. For the win. Again, two-part question. Answer it. You'll win the game and and uh thirteen thousand dollars. Here it is. First, which of these states is Washington D.C. adjacent to? Is it A. Montana, B. Virginia, or C. New York? That's the first one. And the second one, which of these states touches the Pacific Ocean? A. Maine. B, Kentucky, or C, California? Here's your time to think about both of them. Which part do you want to answer first, uh, Maeve? I'll answer the first one. Which of these states is Washington, D.C. adjacent to? Is it A, Montana, B, Virginia, or C, New York? Virginia. Yes. And for the center box, tic tac doe and thirteen thousand dollars, which of these states touches the Pacific Ocean? Is it A Maine, B Kentucky, or C California? California. Tic tac doe! <laughs> Man, that was a long one. That was a long one. Yeah, long game. So you have, we finally got through that game. $13,000 made, and in just a moment, you're going to go ahead against that uh, dragon for, um, well, I forgot what the jackpot was. Well, Brandon, you got beat by a formidable opponent. You were leaving with $329,290, Brandon, okay? All right, Rodney. And may beat Fluffy the dragon. I'm at the... I know what I'm doing Monday. Well, I don't. Well, I know what I'm doing on Tuesday. I have to write more questions. <laughs> Is my turn coming up after after the bonus game? I doubt it. That was a long game. <laughs> that game took a long time. All right, let's do the beat the dragon game. All right. Yeah. Alright, so you know the rules of the game made. The goal is to get to $10,000 or more or get the ticket attack before seeing the dragon. Manage to reach 10 and incidentally, if you hit the $4,000 before seeing that dragon, we'll give it to you because it's my 40th year, okay? Okay. And uh, if you uh, get uh, to $10,000 or more, here's the prizes, you'll win. Okay, 
a four clock, a trip to two pins, a girl point card, a metric card, a trip to the that's a big prize package, Maeve. Now, if you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, you will get a $40,000 bonus and a shot at a new car. If you do it on your first two picks, we'll double that bonus to $80,000, and then you'll have a shot at a new car. Let's cover up that board. And if you're ready, Maeve, go ahead and start picking. Alright, and here's one, number eight. Alright, first we'll go with number eight. He's going with number eight. Let's see what's buying number eight. $3,000, Maeve. Okay, do we take the $3,000 and walk away or do we keep going? Let's keep going. I'm going with Brandon's number five. He's going with Brandon's number five. Let's see what's buying number five. Fifteen hundred dollars. You're up to forty-five hundred dollars, Maeve. Stop or go. Let's keep going. The edges. The edges. Number three. Uh, number two. All right. I'll go with edges three. Number three. Let's see what's by number three. There's the tack. Now you find the tick. We'll give you $40,000 and you have a shot at a new car, but you can stop and take the 4500 Do we stop or go? Please keep going. And Brandon, number two. I'll go two. All right, if Tick is buying number two, you win a $40,000 bonus, you have a shot at a new car. Let's see what's buying number two. $1,000, you're up to $5,500. Now you need 4500 Stop or go? Let's keep going. Keep going. Guys, numbers. Number one. Imagine. Number nine. Okay, we'll go with edges. Top of the charts, number one. Number one, all you need is $4,500 or a tick. Let's see what's buying number one. He's making it long here. $8,000. Now, this here right here is your last pick, Maze. You want to either win or lose on this pick. Take the $8,000 or walk away or... Risk it and play. All right, we got to keep going, and I'm going to go with Brandon's number, number nine. You're going with number nine, okay. If Tick is buying number nine, you'll win the $40,000 in the prize package. If $2,000 is buying number nine, you'll win uh, the prize package on. Let's see what's buying number nine. No, Dragon Chain. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, number four. Tick's going to number four. No, number six. And the $4,000 is behind number seven. So, Maze, that means that the jackpot goes up to $45,000 or $90,000 if it happens on the first two picks. And that first game took so long that we're out of time. Yes. Yeah, so, um... Are y'all ready? Uh, are y'all? Uh, did y'all all have a good time tonight? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna do um game number. Well, we're gonna do episode number twenty four of Tic Tac Doe. This is riding one two seven nine. Well, episode number twenty four will be on Monday if I have time. This is riding one two seven nine. Sign off. Say be safe. Be careful. Take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. I'm about to move these categories around again. Here we go. Closing here. Okay, let me see. Click to it. Here we go. See you later.
went to 36 questions there. So I have to work on this game along on Monday or whenever. But I definitely got to fill in the game show questions. All right. 